to remind you that a regular polygon is pretty much a perfect figure. Okay, it's gonna have congruent sides, it's gonna have congruent angles. Um, again, uh, please uh, excuse my drawings, um, but the way I quote unquote are perfect is by looking at the tick marks. Okay, uh, so that's gonna, you know, that the tick marks got my back basically. Um, so today I'm going to talk about the first part, and the first part is when they give you everything, basically, okay? Um, part two uh, will be when they give you, uh, well, when you have to find the apothem, and part three is when you have to find the missing site. Um, there are multiple ways to find the area of a regular polygon. For example, uh, one way that I have seen people do in the past, let me, that, I mean, it's, it is doable, but in my opinion, it takes forever, all right, is students go ahead and they draw, you know, the diagonals. And because this is a perfect one, then each and every single one of these triangles is congruent. So the students only worry about, say, finding the area of that triangle, and then they multiply it times how many triangles there are. Okay, so just FYI, that's a way to go about it. Um, and to go and do it in that situation, um, you're still gonna need to do some of the stuff we do in the other method. Here, you easily know the base, but you'll have to find the height, okay? Whether you do a Pythagorean theorem or you do um, law signs or Sokoto, okay? But again, this is one way to go about it. If you know your trig, you could go that route. Okay, but anyways, my main focus is going to be showing you this formula right here. This is the formula that you're given during your formula sheet, um, and it says that area is equal to your apothem times perimeter divided by 2. Now, you all know that perimeter, I mean, it's just the sum of all sides, and that's all it is. It's that simple, okay? Apothem is the one that you might not know, you might have not heard of before, so apothem here I'm about to draw it here in the picture. Your apothem, guys, is from the center of the figure perpendicular to a side, any side, okay? And that's your apothem, okay? Let's go ahead and look at this first one right here. This is a regular triangle, also known as an equilateral triangle. So in my equilateral triangle, if this side is 10, well then we should know that this is 10 and this is 10. And since the area is your apothem times perimeter, well my perimeter is just the sum of the sides, so right off the bat my perimeter is 30. My apothem is from the center of the figure perpendicular to a side, and they're currently telling us that it is already 8.7. Okay, oh, let's not forget we have to divide by 2. And so now all we have to do is just do 30 times 8.7, and we just need to divide that by 2, and that's it. Okay, so again, this formula, it, it's very basic, okay, um, when you know your info, obviously. So 30 times 8.7 divided by 2. So the area of this triangle is 130.5 unit squared, okay, and that's it. Let's go ahead and look at a different shape. Here we have what's supposed to be an octagon. It has eight sides, right? It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? And I know that this side is four. Well, if that side is four, then all of my other sides should also be four. So basically, you're going to do 4 plus 4 plus 4, a total of 8 times. And so we could just say it's 4 times 8. So right off the bat, my perimeter 
is 32 because that side is 4 and again everything will be 4 and when I add 4 8 times it's going to give us 32. Now my apothem they're telling me that it's 4.8 and since it's 4.8 all I have to do well area is apothem times perimeter divided by 2 so 32 and 4.8 I'm going to multiply them and divide by 2. 4.8 times 32 divided by 2 and so the area here is 76.8 it's that simple that simple okay um, again this this first part this first lesson introduction to area of a regular polygon is very basic when you know everything all right my next shape here is a pentagon um, and so again if you know a side in a regular polygon, you know all the rest, okay? So here I know 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, my perimeter must be 50, okay? My apothem is from the center to a side, so that's 6.9. And again, area is simply 50 times 6.9 divided by 2. Um, and again, I know it's A times P divided by 2, but, you know, 2 times 3, 3 times 2 makes no difference, okay? Uh, so when we multiply them, again, 6.9 times 50 divided by 2, you're going to get the same thing no matter what, right? 172.5 is the area, okay? So again, area of regular polygons, it's that easy. You know your perimeter, you know your apothem, you're set, okay? So that's it for this this part one again very short but because it's that easy okay stay tuned for part two